Okay, so if we go into the cooking game I made a while ago, we can see that it has evolved a lot from its original uh, design. It is no longer about simply going inside the kitchen and uh, cooking a yummy burger for your uh, fellow players. There's now horrifying buildings filled with uh, creatures. <laughs> There's quests and... Yeah, I, it just, uh, it, it evolved quite a bit from what it originally was. <laughs> what it originally was so with all these updates though um they've they've all been building up to uh one one final final quest for the uh the players to uh undertake today we're going to be building a final boss for all the uh restaurant players to fight so uh yeah let's uh let's get to work All right, we are in uh we're in my sandbox world. I uh, ignore the the thing. Uh, this is unrelated. But without further ado, let's get started with our build. Alrighty, so I'm done with the model and uh, it looks really good actually. Obviously, uh, it's a robot. Yes, it has hard chiseled abs. I I'm just a big fan of like muscles on like my uh, my enemies. I, I don't know, okay, that's that's not weird. But yeah, so big robot guy, but I also wanted it to look like Skeletron Prime from uh, Terraria, if any of you guys know. Um, like, you know, something like this. Uh, obviously it looks like nothing like that at all, but I'm gonna replace like the arms with weapons and stuff. So I also made this a uh, little prism block right here that I'm gonna put a bunch of onto him. So yep, the model's done. I got to color it and add material textures to it, but yeah, I, uh, I can't wait to start adding AI to this guy, so. Oh my gosh, that looks awesome. <gasps> wait, wait, hold on. Oh my God, that looks so good cool at night oh the, the glow that that's that's actually awesome uh as you can see i replaced his dumb boxing gloves with actual weapons this one's going to drop like mines and i think i want this one to just shoot lasers or something i don't know we'll figure it out later but uh wow that 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 is good but uh without further ado we can begin the most fun but also this is gonna take a while uh the scripting we gotta actually make this guy uh, do stuff so without further ado let's uh, get to coding Alrighty, so uh, the creature is now officially a model, and it even has <laughs> it even has a name. So I modeled it all together. We can see each part is labeled now, such as body, head, all of that. Each part now has a joint, which you need if you want to make like an enemy in your game, so that all of the body parts are held together and can move. I put in an enemy AI script, so I can finally start coding the AI. Uh, I also put in a humanoid. Uh, this is where I can determine how much health it has. I mean, uh, it is a uh, it is a it is a final boss after all. <laughs> it, is, it is a final boss, so let's be a little generous there. But yes, so the coding officially begins. All right, uh, I coded a little bit of pathfinding into this guy, so he should follow us. So he should follow us. Um, oh my god. Okay, it uh, it follows the player. Oh my goodness, thank you. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. So it, it follows you. I don't think it does any damage right so it's harmless right now but it should have a uh, it should have pathfinding so let me uh test its intelligence real quick let's go over here okay let's see its pathfinding oh um Okay, so the pathfinding is still a work in progress, but he moves now and he targets uh, things in the workspace with uh, humanoids. So anything that's alive, really. But yes, so I'm going to go work on some animations and maybe we can get to uh, the attacks soon. So yeah. Alrighty, so I've prepared the basic animations for some attacks and uh, I also implemented some sound effects. So let's see how this works. All right, big guy, come here. Oh, that was cool. You, you got anything else in you? Uh, come on, you big hunk of a robot. Big muscular man. Come on. You know what? Hold on. Let's just uh, increase the attack frequency just a bit. And I'll explain how these work in a second, but... Oh! Oh! The, the sound effects... <laughs> the sound effects are a bit off. Oh! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> what the... <laughs> 
there are some uh, glaring issues that need to be addressed. <laughs> but for the time being, how I got him to operate. So there's a randomly generated number that uh, determines if he attacks and what attack it'll be, either one through three. And I just use Roblox's pathfinding right here to uh, generate a path to the player. So in theory, it, it makes the uh, the enemy intelligent. How, however, in practice, uh, in practice, it goes a little differently. But but yeah, that's how I get these attacks to work. So these 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 red things are uh, they're supposed to be mines. That's supposed to be a mine planter. Uh, don't worry, this is not what the this is not what the mines will look like. This is just a placeholder item. Yeah, I mean the attacks kind of work. I don't know. We're making a lot of progress though, so this is going well. He, he's trying so hard to. Uh, he was trying so hard to attack, but he just gave up, I guess. Anyways, let's let's actually add the uh, the attacks. All right. Oh my gosh. Okay. So I think the uh, the attacks are finally implemented. So our big beefy man right here uh, actually targets not just players, but anything with a humanoid in the map. So uh, you might notice I have a, a few rodent friends hanging around. Um, a few cute uh, little fellas who definitely aren't about to get brutally exploded by uh, by uh, our beefcake robot over here. But um, um, yeah, they're, they're gone. Uh, let, let's just run it. Uh-oh. 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 Uh get, get out of there, little buddy. It's not too late. Oh, wait, wait, what? Where'd he go? Okay, well, I guess he's gone. Uh, he, you can see his laser attacks work. You're a little too far away to use that. Oh, wait. Oh, <laughs> maybe not. Oh, it's dead, I guess. Now it's onto this one. <laughs> Jeez, that's horrible. Um, well, it works. I want to see it. Oh, <laughs> I was about to say I wanted to see it use its orbital strike, but uh, oh, <laughs> these rats didn't stand a chance. Well, uh, l l let's spare that the last guy. Okay, <laughs> so uh, I still have a bit left to do. Uh, I need to make sure these mines are uh, actual like land land mines, <laughs> and I also want to go into a real server and just throw one of these in here just to test it out. So uh, let's spruce up the attacks first, and then we'll go into a server. Okay, so while this is going to be a boss for the restaurant game, I wanted to test it out in the child raising game. Uh, I know this might put many uh, many of these uh, babies at risk, but uh, yeah. it, it's funny. So so uh, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> Look what I have in my hand. Uh, if you're wondering what that is, well, um, <laughs> it's this little uh, th this little device. Oh, it, it's happening! It's happening! Oh no! <laughs> Uh oh! All of the all of the players have scattered. He's dropping mines down. Oh, okay, okay. Maybe this uh, <laughs> maybe this wasn't the best game to test this out on. The map is kind of big. Uh oh, stuff is going down in the store. Um, yeah, yeah. This map is way too big for just one. I I, I think um, I think uh, th three more. <laughs> <laughs> Three more should be good. Oh God, we we lost one. He he dropped his money. Respect to a uh, volcano over here. <laughs> nah, I ain't dealing with. He's just watching the fireworks, you know. <laughs> oh God. And he's done. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, that that was kind of a mistake. I should probably put it in the uh, game it was intended to be put in, and not the uh, raise a raise a child game. Okay. Okay. We are actually in the uh, correct game this time. Um. So how I think I want to do this is I want to obviously I have the summoning item right. So I want to make it so that you have to defeat the other three mini bosses in this restaurant game to uh, be able to unlock the final summoning item. So th this cooking game truly has come a long way from its original. Original, uh, its original purpose, but yeah, I'm just gonna hand the summoning item to someone and uh, see what they do with it. I'm, I'm just gonna casually, casually just leave it there. Oh, we this bacon, uh, <laughs> this bacon is uh, a little curious. <laughs> he's, a, he's a little uh, hesitant. I'm gonna, he says in the chat. Oh, the head chef is uh, trying to stop it. <laughs> Fired a few shots at him. He could uh, spare the lobby from. Oh, oh my God! Why are you boring? Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> what is he doing? Uh oh. <laughs> No, it seems like there's a great migration towards the mountain for some reason. I think they uh, they think that's a safe spot, but <laughs> little do they know his orbital strike has infinite range. So, 
<laughs> he sure is doing a number on his health. You're a. <laughs> Uh oh. 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 He escaped. Oh no, the head chef died. Someone else is now the head chef. It's the guy swimming in the floor. <laughs> okay, okay. There's uh, not quite enough players left to uh, stand a chance, but. <laughs> Look at his health bar. <laughs> They're, they're getting there. They're so close. They're just a little more damage. Well, uh, from a developer standpoint, I'm actually uh, pretty pretty proud of this. This is a fitting final enemy, uh, way <laughs> way uh, unbalanced, but uh, a final enemy nonetheless. I will, uh, I'll code this into an update. Uh, I need to add a way to actually get the summoning item, but uh, that'll be soon enough. And uh, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.